serve a villain deliver Ilyas's paycheck to his sister. Come on! We should be close. Let me think. It should be this way. Ilias, what are you doing back here? Dad. Uh, it's nothing. I was just wondering how everyone was doing. You sure everything's okay? Did they bully you again? It's all right. You can tell us. <laughs> Ilyas, what's wrong? Uh, I'm fine. Just a minor headache. I haven't been getting much rest lately. <sighs> Back then, I told you not to be a hero. Look how things turned out. I can't imagine how things are going for you at the Academia. We've even been receiving threat letters. You don't have to force yourself to stay at the Academia. You can always come back home. I'm alright, I just need a little rest. Ilias doesn't seem like he wants them to know that he has amnesia. Hey, hey! That's enough, you two! Ilyas isn't feeling well. You can keep nagging him once we get home. Ilyas, let's find somewhere to talk. So, how's your headache? It's much better now. Oh, here, it's this month's paycheck. How's everything at home? Same old, same old. It's just that everyone's worried about you. Don't mind their nagging. Deep down, they know that you did the right thing. It's just that after hearing a lot of bad rumors about you and seeing all the threatening letters... Well, they're mom and dad. Maybe they just want you to... conform a bit more. Conform? Yeah. You don't remember? After the incident, you... Ilyas? What's wrong? Ah, I see. I remember now. Uh, don't worry, I remember now. You're acting a little weird today, you know? Anyway, I understand your decision. But Mom, Dad, and I just want you to be happy. I don't care if you're a hero or not. I just want you to enjoy life and relax more. Your understanding is a great comfort to him. Is it? That's good. Are you a friend of his? More so these two. My name is Alhatham, and this is the Traveler in Paimon. Oh, that rings a bell. At any rate, I feel more at ease knowing that my brother has friends. Would you like to join us for dinner? I just happened to buy some extra food. Sorry, but I still have things I need to take care of. Well, that's a shame. Okay, I'll get going then. Take care of yourself, Ilyas. Don't worry. I won't do anything to make you guys worry again. You remember now? Yes, I do. Thanks for that. You know, you don't seem like such a bad person. Is that your way of conveying gratitude? Oh, my apologies. But I meant every word. Remember when I asked at the tavern if we had ever met? I said that there was a sense of familiarity, but what I really meant was a sense of loathing. Loathing? 
Yeah, but having spent some time with you, I realized that you're not someone I disliked to that extent. Strange, isn't it? Why did I have those thoughts at that time? My strength is that I don't care about what others think. If you could also develop this quality, then you won't be as bothered by complicated social relationships. It'd be great if I could think like you. <laughs> uh, but first things first. I remember where Siraja's cave is now. I'll take you there. Really? That's great! Uh, Paimon remembers that you said there are two things that you had to do. We've only checked off one, right? What about the other one? Are we not gonna do that first? There are more important things at hand. We have to stop Siraj before he completes his collective consciousness, or it'll be too late. You're right. Let's head out! <laughs> Don't stay out in the rain for too long. You'll catch a cold. This is the place. It's so well hidden. But there's nothing spooky about it. Hmm. Let's go inside and take a look. Are you going to hold a festival? As per our contract. sense him nearby. Did he get separated from us? Should we wait here or turn around and look for him? There's no need for that. Let's keep moving. Uh, alright. We'll continue in and see if he catches up to us. It's okay, Ilyas. You've done more than enough for me already. I don't understand. Everyone knows that Johnny is stealing your research. Why is no one willing to go public with the truth? He shamelessly used your thesis to send in a project application. And whenever the project hits a wall, he asks you for help. Everyone knows what's going on. Do you know how many people are working on that project? If Johnny was kicked out because of academic fraud, That'd be the end of the project. Too many people would be affected. But he's obviously taking advantage of you! He throws you the hardest work, and after you're done pulling all-nighters, he struts around with your research data and takes credit for it. That's not right! Why are you putting up with this? A lot of people warn me to not say anything, and I think they have a point. This is just how things are. 
All I want is to graduate without any problems. <sighs> it's okay. He's at least paying me. Half a year of your time and effort. Countless all-nighters and casual threats and insults. All for a measly 20,000 mora. He's treating people like cattle. Enough. It's fine. I just need to suck it up and get it done. What's the matter? Huh? You could read minds this whole time and you never told Paimon? Of course not. I was also able to see those memories just now. They were probably the ones that leaked out while Ilios was connecting to the Collective Consciousness. Connecting... Collective Consciousness? It's clear that this place isn't a work in progress. The Hive has long been finished. The Collective Consciousness project is already complete, and Ilios is now returning to the Collective. Not entirely. Keep walking and you'll see why. of elimination. It's completely different from what Ilya said. This place looks like it's been done for a while. Contributing to the Collective by only thinking to your strengths. How easy! Oh, Haytham. Just thinking of that name fills me with hatred. We must get rid of him. An entire year's worth of work down the drain. And for what? Your reputation? Do you have any idea how many people you've brought down? You could have played Hero any time. So why couldn't you have waited until the project was complete? I don't understand what you guys are saying. Are you saying you don't care that Raju jumped to his death? It's a shame. 
What happened to him? I, I thought he was stronger than that. Everyone has been working hard to complete the project. He could have endured for a bit longer. But he chose now, of all times, to... In any case, we're done with you. Because of your recklessness, the Macho are putting Johnny on trial. Oh, this project is done for. None of this affects you at all. But do you know how many people, myself included, needed this project to complete their studies? Now our futures are up in the air. If worst comes to pass, we might not be able to graduate. Do you understand now? I'm sorry. There's no need for an apology. It's not like I'll accept it anyway. You'll pay for this. Hey, you're blinking out again. What did you see this time? <laughs>